there, we are in a seller's market right now. So if you're a buyer looking for a new home, you may be having a difficult time finding what you want. However, when you go looking at houses, you may see some homes with some features that immediately turn you off. Should you overlook those flaws? Stay tuned to find out. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name's Heather Hancock and I'm a realtor in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So you find a home that could potentially work for your family, but you're turned off by a few things. Before moving on to the next home, consider the following things that can be updated while making a big impact. The first one is paint. Potential buyers are sometimes turned off by the seller's choice of paint. Maybe they have a bright color, a bold accent wall, a mural, or some stenciling that may not appeal to your sense of style. But you can easily cover walls with a fresh coat of paint in the color of your choice at a fair price. Now the next one is outdated features. Many older homes have dated kitchens and bathrooms. Outdated flooring and a color scheme that was popular decades ago might make you cringe, but you can easily paint the walls, like I said, and change the flooring. Focus on the size and layout of the room and ask yourself if it would suit your family's needs and lifestyle. How about those doors and fixtures? Maybe there's a damaged door, outdated lighting, and old, fas and old fashioned fixtures, that's a tongue, tongue twister, such as faucets, doorknobs, cabinet handles, trim and molding may detract from a house's appearance, but you should look beyond them. If the house is in good shape, is an appropriate size, and has a floor plan that's going to work for your family, you can easily make some of those cosmetic upgrades. Now finally is landscaping. Curb appeal is generally considered one of the most important factors since that's the first thing that prospective buyers form, form is an impression of a house within seconds. Now unattractive landscaping may make you think that the house isn't worth further investigation, but you may be pleasantly surprised by the interior. If that's the case and the yard doesn't have major problems such as poor drainage, you may be able to spruce up the property just by mowing the grass, maybe trimming the bushes and planting some flowers. So the big question, should you buy the house? If you can look past cosmetic flaws and recognize a house's strong points and potential, you may be able to get a property in good condition at a bargain. Just make some simple upgrades and have the home of your dreams at an affordable price. Some upfront renovations may also help you quickly build equity. So with that being said, there are some serious issues that you should not overlook. Those are gonna be issues with the roof, electrical system, plumbing, and foundation. Those can cause major problems and may be expensive to repair. A home inspection is going to provide information on these types of issues. If a house has any of these problems, talk to your real estate agent about whether you should request repairs, maybe a price reduction, make a low initial offer, or keep looking at other properties. So there you have it. I hope you found this information helpful. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. I upload new videos each week and you don't wanna miss out. I'll see you next time.